What is up everybody, it's Gorilla Man here, back with another Car Mechanic Simulator video, and in today's video, I know it's been a while, I know it's been a while, but we are going to finally get along to doing a new charger. It's been a little bit, uh, I still need to finish this Mustang here, this is a, this is 2005 Ford Mustang Celine 302 Extreme. Um, it is modded, uh, it's a modded car, obviously, because they don't have those in the game, um, but... I'll show you guys around the garage a little bit if you guys haven't seen this. We got that Mazda sitting there we still need to do. We got the 69 uh, or 65 Shelby um, GT right here. Or not Shelby. Was it Shelby? I can't remember. I think it is. I think it was. And then we got um, our crazy uh, drag uh, Mustang, a 93 Ford uh, Coyote. It's a, oh, it's a Cobra, but it's got like the Coyote swap. So it's got like a 5.0 V8. It's so fast. Set up for drag. It's got. Uh, small fronts, big rears, um, so lowered quite a bit as you guys can see, so that's our drag car if you guys haven't seen that. But we're gonna go start this video by doing a few barn finds. Yes. Alright, so we're gonna go do some barn finds. We're gonna see if we can find ourselves a Dodge Charger. Pretty common um, in the barn finds, so let's just see if we can snag it from one of these or if we can find anything else really cool. But my goal is to do a video like I did a while back. Oh dang, look at this. Can I even get through here? What the heck? I can't move through here. What is this? Nope, but this guy right here, 2017 Ford GT, that is $169,000. But look at that. Let's look at condition. It's like exhaust or something is in the red. If I can crouch here. Oil pan is in the red. Ooh, but look at that. I think that'd be really cool if we could do a mid-engine car. Oh, you know, I think this changes everything. I think we're going to do this today then, actually. Oh, yeah, that's, I think that's what we're going to do. That changes everything for me. Uh, let's see if any of these we can use. Probably not. Check this guy out. Um, we could pick that up. We might be able to use that later on. We can't fit through here, though. What the heck? All right, well, you know what? We're going to buy it. We have enough money. Uh, place that in our garage. Por favor. All right, is there anything over here for us to check? Okay, so you had to buy that to get over here. That is, that's a little uh, sketchy, a little weird. Um, get that mirror just in case. We need that later. Anything else here we need? Doesn't look like it. All right. Um, let's exit this barn. This thing is, this thing is tight. It is cramped. Uh, we'll buy those parts because we'll, we'll need them anyways for that 2005 Mustang later later going on. All right. Let's check out this GT. Um, it's 2017 Ford GT. It is a mod. I was never able to find one before because they were, it's like a, it was like a million dollars in the auction house. So I was never able to buy it because all my money is like legit. So I didn't want to just like spawn in a bunch of money. Oh, and it is pinkish purple. What the heck? Oh man, okay. Well, that's a thing. All right, so it looks like the body doesn't really have any damage to it at all. Uh, V6 double overhead cam. 302 horsepower. Okay, we'll definitely be changing that horsepower. We'll be breaking into the 8900s with this V6. Is this really a V6? No way. Um, can you raise the trunk at all? Okay, let's start pulling some body pieces off. All right, there's a wing gone. There's a bumper. Can't take that off. That's just the body. Those taillights are sick, though. I really like these taillights. Oh, wow. You take the engine cover off as its own thing. Oh, that is weird. I don't know if I like that. Any other parts right here? Nope. And then we'll definitely be keeping the wheels that it has on it. So I'll pop that up right now. Let it get up in the air real quick we'll just uh, restore those wheels um, because there's no point in us putting on different wheels it'd just be way too expensive in in the long haul which I mean yes this car is expensive but we don't we don't need to get new wheels we can just resurface those make them look better um check the body what is that oh intercooler that's weird they put the intercooler all the way up front even though it might be in the back I don't know though all right so Car value currently sixty-one thousand bucks. We bought it for hundred and ninety, somewhere in there. 
Um, so I guess the body pieces took off a lot of that value. Let's see if we can repair them real quick. Oh, okay, so these are those... Okay, yeah, yeah, these are the Mustang parts. It's good to... S oh, that one just got trashed. There we go. It's good to see that a lot of these are able to be repaired super easy. Alright, so there's probably a hundred thousand dollars worth of items we just repaired there for like a thousand bucks so let's start off with the wheels um yeah we'll start off with the wheels we'll change the wheels really quick and then we'll get the body parts put back on and we'll go paint it um or we might do the engine first i'm not sure it i don't know all i know is that this is gonna look uh look real bad with this pinkish purple uh paint job that's going on right now and i really uh really want to change that We'll run over here really quick. Oh, I left the tire on the, on that. My bad. All right, separate those. We're just gonna separate all the tires we have on us because no point. There we go. I've never been able to work on a. Is this mid-engine? A mid-engine in this game yet? This is mid-engine car. It's like right there. I guess it'd be mid to rear engine. Uh, rear engines would be like the, uh, the Reno Bion Conlo, whatever that one is. The weird little. Uh, like uh, German car, it's super, super small. Uh, it's almost as small as like a, it's, it might be smaller than a Mini Cooper actually. Um, yep, separate those. I would, if anything, I'd probably make these tires a little bit bigger. Um, probably not thicker, because their width is perfectly fine, but I'd make them, uh, make them a little bit taller. The rim's a little bit taller, maybe the uh, tire actually smaller. But it's fine right now. We can save some money by doing it this way because we are down a lot of money now after purchasing that. So we got last one right there. We'll wait. We'll wait to go over to do it to uh, repair all these because we just gotta wait. All right, take that. There we go. All right, so now let's go to our inventory and check out what we had um, for tires. So. Race tire was 290, 30, 18. All right. So let's go buy 290, 30, 18s. Nope. Uh, hit the wrong button. Oh. All right. So, race tire, um, 290. Oh, can't do that. 18. Okay, there you go. With 18s, you might be able to. Nope. Uh, 30. So we'll buy four of these. Four thousand dollars for those tires. Holy crap! That is absolutely ridiculous. Um, install. Those are our Mazda wheels right there. We don't want those. Um, there we go. Oh wow, they were different offsets. That's why. Oh, that just kind of screwed us over. Okay, let's try this again. 325. There's no way. Is that... Are all of our tires different? So we got... 05, 20 inch. Okay, so they're 20 inches. That's why we can't fit these ones on. All right, that's okay. Uh, I guess that's okay. Um... So it's 20, was it? Oh, I can't remember if it was 245 or what, what it was. All right, let's install these um, classics. It is 245, 35, and then a 20 offset. All right. 245. And the profile is just going to be 30. Um, so we need two of those I think and then we need three twenty fives okay so the three twenty fives are gonna be the rears um, so let's go buy those this we got twenty three twenty five these things are thick they are huge all right check all right, let's install some tires. No, not those ones. All right, classics, yes. All right, so since all the rims are the same, it's just the thickness, I think, is the difference in all of them. 
Um, in real life, you'd have the, like the rims unmatched, but I guess in this they don't for some reason, or they just fit on there. Um, yeah, none of these have weird offsets. All right, and then while that's going, we will balance these because you got to balance your tires when you do this, um, just like in real life. And then this probably is by far the longest part that we have to go through. Classics. Thank you. Race tires. So I really want to get to that engine because I want to boost up that horsepower. Because if things, if this thing is a four GT, it's got to be. Something's got to be done to it. There we go. Take that and install in this last one right there. We should probably sell those rims actually because we don't really need them that much. I wonder if I could throw that door on this right now actually. Um, is it this door or is it that door? Oh, it was probably a, no, it's 2015. This is 2005. That's why. All right, this guy's done. Take you, thank you. There we go. All right, so waiting on this last guy here. Check out our toolbox. Oh wow, I forgot that we had an upgrade to spend. Oh, we're not there 40 yet. Oh, once we're 40, we can buy the uh, discount in shops. This one's good to be lucky. Don't know what that means, but we will eventually hit that. It'll take a while, but... Alright, looks like that's that's it. Alright, let's take a look at our brakes. Um, we'll just throw the wheels on here for now, and I'll probably go back and redo the uh, whole suspension. But... Uh, yeah, 325s. But we need to, uh, we need our wheels on this so we can put all the body parts on and drive it back into the shop. Because without that, we can't do anything. Um, there we go. And then this will be the smaller 245s. I was worried for a second there. I was like, uh oh. It's not going in. Yeah, I didn't, uh, what the heck? I didn't realize the difference before, but that that's actually a huge difference in the uh, rears to fronts. Probably couldn't fit the rears in the front. It'd like probably clip into the front fender or something. Yeah, because that sits flush. And then back here, these ones are just massive. There we go. Yeah, see, those things are just... Oh, those things are tucked up under those wheel wells super tight. All right. Let's uh, hit the assembly mode. Get our doors. Oh, whoa, whoa, what the heck? No, 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 no. Give me that window back. That window wasn't, uh, wasn't done very well. Still need that. Save the headlight. Save the that. Save the trunk slash hood. I don't know what you want to call it in this car. And then get our mirror. So we still got to put our glass in, so we can't forget our glass. Right. I love the exhaust cutouts on this. And the tail lights. Tail lights look so good. And then engine cover. Oh crap. I wasn't able to get the engine cover on. Probably gonna take it off later anyways, but um Oh crap, how do you do that? Okay, I guess we can't get the engine cover on right now. Oh well, that's fine, that's fine. All right, so we'll go to our, our inventory. We'll go to our tablet and we'll pull up the, there we go, community cars body shop. So we'll go to the 2017 version. Oh wow, I didn't realize there was different front ends for this one. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, we're gonna switch to this hood. We're switching to this hood. Switching to that rear bumper. Other than that, though, that's fine. We just gotta buy all of our glass. There's the windows. Alright, I think that's everything. Alright, so we will take that off. Put one back on. Put on the one with the hood pins. Oh, and it's... Okay, that looks pretty good. I like it. There's glass. Another piece of glass. This glass would be so expensive. There's that one. And then it was the rear bumper. All right, so it looks like it had just like a bunch of diffusers on it. So 
This is the special one. Oh, dang. Look at that. That thing is gigantic. Holy crap. Wow. Put on our wing. That is insane. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. All right. We'll move this to the paint booth now. I would say, hey, let's start it and see what it, see what it does, but it won't start right now because it's missing a bunch of parts because we bought it from that barn find. All right, so this color, there's a color that I want to do for this that I know I want to do. So that changes everything. Hold on, we're gonna back out to garage really quick. Let's uh, let's take off our hood. Oh, that got a little laggy. That was weird. We'll take off our hood, and I think the rear bumper should be fine. So let's paint. All right, so saturation, it's gonna be quite up there. So it's gonna be a blue color. Uh, we'll go right there. And we'll get it super saturated. Right there, all right. That's what I like it at. So everything stays black that we wanna stay black front all the sides this stays okay that looks that looks good um paint type matte i think it's got to be metallic chameleon nah oh wait a second that does look really good let's go with chameleon thousand dollar paint job probably be way more than that but it's fine all right there we go um and then we'll slap this guy back on nope not the not the pink one. Um, yeah, uh, the black one. I wanted that to stay black, so I had to pull it off the car before we painted it. All right, let's get this guy out of here. Let's throw it back on the lifter. All right, so now basically, oh, just close myself in the door. So now basically all we gotta do is go back through and redo the engine, but I'm gonna save that part for the next video um, because this is, a su this is a supercar. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's a supercar. It's a Ford GT. Um, it says it makes 302 factory horsepower. It's a V6. Um, I don't remember if the GT, I know the G, some GTs have V8s. I know people do like crazy things with some of them. Um, car value is up at $274,000, guys. So I've already made a $100,000 profit by just doing those quick little repairs that I did. So that's pretty great. And it looks, it has the Ford logo on it. I like that. All right, but next video, I'm gonna be doing uh, mods to the engine and suspension and everything else in between that we can do. I'm gonna be raising this thing up to 800 horsepower. My goal is 800 horsepower, basically as much as you can put into this this guy without it, uh, without it blowing up. But we're gonna leave it at this, guys. So if you guys like the video, hit that like button, subscribe if you guys are liking these videos and you wanna see more and you wanna be get those regular updates. So I'll see everybody in the next Car Mechanic Simulator video.